Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. The two totes that I'm going to be talking about today, as you probably guessed from the title of this video, are going to be the Chanel Classic Tote, and the other one that I have is the Chanel GST. I can't remember if GST stands for Grand Shopper Tote or Grand Shopping Tote, but this is the Chanel GST. So if you guys want to know how these two bags compare, as well as whether or not I think these two are worth it, then let's get started. Alright, so first up is the Chanel Classic Tote, and for those of you who don't know, this tote is actually the newer version of the Chanel GST which I will talk about in a bit but um, the Chanel GST is discontinued and so this is kind of what they've brought back in place it's actually held up a lot better than I thought it would when I first purchased it but this bag the last time I checked retailed for 4600 I'm not sure if there have been any price increases since then so you definitely want to check that out before you buy it is very very pricey for a tote bag but I'll share with you guys what I think about it and hopefully this video will help you guys out if you're on the fence about purchasing this or you just want to know a little bit more about it so the one that I have here is in the black lambskin and it has the silver hardware on it this bag does measure 11 inches by 14.2 um, by 4.3 inches so it's quite roomy um, I have found that it's able to fit everything that I need on a day-to-day -day basis either um, just for the weekend or for work and for reference this is a MacBook it is a pretty old MacBook I think this is the 13 inch It is a little bit of a tight squeeze when the um, side buttons aren't buttoned but you can see that it does fit in here so um, the good news is is that it does fit a laptop if you're trying to use this bag for work um, this is the part where it's a little bit different from the GST so you will see that the straps here are not like fully attached to the bag it's just kind of this little um, metal um, I don't know what it's called but you can string it through so the straps actually could come out but you'll see on the GST that the straps are actually um, like secured onto the bag itself and then when you open up the bag, the bag also looks a little bit different from the GST as well on the inside, but it's secured with this little like flap um, closure here. So this goes in and then you just turn this to secure it. And then on the inside, there's one pocket here on the front. There's, sorry, my bag's kind of dirty, but um, nothing in the middle, it's just completely open. And then there is a zip pouch here in the back. So you can put anything valuable or things that you don't want to lose in this bag pouch. And then the other thing is that this bag does come with like a little um, clip strap. So you can hook a wristlet, a wallet onto here. It doesn't actually come with a wristlet. So I know with the Louis Vuitton Neverfulls, um, they do come with wristlets attached to the little strap, but the Chanel one does not. And then on the back side of the tote, there is another pocket here and it's secured with like a magnetic closure. So that's what the bag looks like. In terms of durability, it's quite durable actually. I haven't had any real issues with it being lambskin. I know everyone always says that lambskin is so much more delicate than caviar. Yes, to some degree, the lambskin is a lot more delicate, so it does scratch easier than the caviar. That part I will admit, but I don't think that it's necessarily as difficult to maintain as some people might make it sound because I have a couple of Chanel bags in the lambskin, and each time that I get scratches on it, I find that if you just um, kind of polish it, the scratches can get completely buffed out and it looks just as good as new so in that respect it's not too bad and then I would say that I use this bag about once a week so not too often but definitely often enough and then you can see that the wear and tear on the bottom is not bad at all there's actually I don't think there's any real visible wear and tear um, the feet do have a little bit of scratching on it but really it looks in pretty good condition but keep in mind that I do use this bag pretty carefully and most of the time when I use it it is at work so when I'm at work this just um, sits on my desk it doesn't really get beat up too much so I am pretty careful with it but I have gotten scratches on it like I said and they've just come right out with some buffing so if you're concerned about the wear and tear on this bag I would say that's not too bad you do have to be a little bit careful but, but with all designer bags I think you just want to be a little bit extra careful just because they are so expensive this bag is quite light I know that it has like the metal straps on it and then it has some hardware but it's not heavy at all it's very very light the one thing that I will say is that the base is very floppy so you can see that it's kind of moving right 
right now as I'm pushing it. Um, I would definitely recommend getting a tote base shaper for this bag. I talked about base shapers in one of my previous videos in the what's in my um, work bag with the Louis Vuitton Neverfull and Epi and this is a bag where I definitely use a base shaper for it because I don't want the bottom to get saggy just because it's already so floppy but I carry a lot in here I don't put my laptop in here just because I don't want this bag to um, get worn too quickly and I feel like laptops are really heavy and it does strain the bag a little so when I use this bag um, I just put my necessities in there and then I'll just hand carry my laptop and it's pretty comfortable even though the straps are really thin I haven't found it to dig into my shoulders at all And then the other good thing that I really like about this bag is that like the ring part where the straps attach to the bag um, They are reinforced with like this metal so you don't really have to worry about the leather tearing or your bag being too heavy because it is pretty sturdy here and then the other thing about the bag is that it does have snap closures on the side on both sides here you can see so normally i keep these snapped shut but if i do have a lot of stuff in here then i will open it up and then it just becomes um like more boxy rectangle i really like this tote i think it's held up really well um considering that it is made out of a softer lambskin if you were to ask me whether or not this tote is worth five thousand dollars I can't say for certain that it is. I think there are so many other great totes out there on the market. I just feel that $5,000 for any bag is extremely expensive. And I don't think I could recommend purchasing this bag for $5,000. I think it is too pricey for what it is. But when I say that I absolutely love this bag and I think it's great, that advice is really for those of you who already have your heart set on this bag and you're not so much debating on the price and whether or not this bag is worth it. So if you have your heart set on this bag and you really want it, I would say that it's a great bag, it holds up really well, and it fits everything I need. So I don't really have many complaints about this bag except that it is very pricey and the base is very floppy. But other than that, if you have your heart set on this, um, it's a great bag. If you're in the market for a new tote bag, I would not recommend this bag because like I said, there's just so many other better, less expensive of tote bags out there okay so next up is the Chanel GST and like I said at the beginning of this video this bag has already been discontinued but I'm able to find this one on the secondhand market all the time and it's still really really popular and I do think that it's a really good bag so if you can pick it up on the secondhand market um, it's a pretty good option if you're looking for a Chanel tote so there are a couple of differences between the GST and the Chanel classic tote so this bag is almost the same size as the classic but it's a little bit different. It measures 13 inches by 10 inches by 5.25 inches. So let me get the other one to show you guys, but um, you can see that the classic toe is a little bit taller and I think the classic toe is also a little bit wider, you can see, um, but the GST, which is this one right here, is a little bit deeper so with the gst the logo is also on the front and then like i mentioned earlier these straps are much more secure on the bag it's just like an o-ring that's attached to the bag itself and it doesn't come off like the classic tote straps do and then on the inside similar to the classic tote there's a um, pocket right here on the inside of the front and then this one does have a zip pocket in the middle. So you can put like valuables or um, makeup, whatever you want in the middle. Zipper pocket kind of divides the bag. And then um, there is also a back zipper pocket. So this one just has like one extra compartment in it than the classic tote does. And then this one also comes with a little strap with a clip on the end. And again, no um, wristlet or clutch or anything like that, just a strap. And then on the back of the bag, this one doesn't have like the full pocket that the classic tote has. So you can see that's the classic tote um, with the full pocket on the back. This one has like that little kind of, you know, almost like square rectangle crescent one pocket. Um, that's similar to the back of the Chanel classic flaps now this GST that I have is in the black caviar leather You can tell that it feels a lot sturdier than the lambskin So this one I will admit doesn't scratch as easily It does seem a lot more hard wearing and the wear and tear on this one is pretty good as well You know virtually like no wear and tear there is some 
like flattening of the corners here where the bag usually lays but um other than that it, it's in pretty good conditions now the other thing that i wanted to mention about the gst is that the straps are a lot thicker and bulkier than on the classic tote so i think the classic tote looks a lot more feminine in that respect and i will do a side by side at the end of this video and just summing up my thoughts in comparison of the two bags so you guys can see the strap side by side near the end of the video so to summarize things up for you guys between the biggest differences between these two bags they are that the classic tote I think is just a little bit bigger than the GST but the GST is a little deeper the straps are attached differently between the two bags so the straps on the classic tote are removable whereas the straps on the GST are secured on with these um, with these circle rings the other thing is that the classic tote does have this little um, strap to close and secure the bag whereas the GST is not secure and it's just kind of open the GST does also have an extra pouch on the inside whereas the classic uh, tote does not have that so those are really the main differences between the two bags and if you asked me which one I like better I would have to say that I like the classic tote better I think the classic tote just looks a lot more refined a lot more feminine and classy I like how the logo isn't super big like the GST one is and I also like that the straps are attached in a more subtle way so they just I think blend seamlessly into the bag whereas the GST I feel like just looks a little bit clunky with the um, really big hardware on it so I think the hardware combined with the logo is a little bit too flashy for me on the GST whereas the classic tote looks a lot more refined and then also you can see that the straps are different as well the chain link straps for the GST are a lot bigger and bulkier than the strap chain link on the classic tote so I definitely prefer the classic tote um, over the GST and then the other thing is is that of course both bags do come in both lambskin and caviar so it's just up to you what kind of a leather finish you prefer I think the lambskin does look a little bit more feminine and expensive than the caviar does but um, the caviar is more hard wearing than the lambskin but if you do get the lambskin like I mentioned it's not as scary or delicate as some people might make it out to be it's definitely still very durable and then if you do get any scratches on it you can easily just buff it out with some leather polish so um, that is my review and comparison of the two bags thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up up and let me know in the comments below which of these two totes is your favorite if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet please make sure to subscribe i post videos weekly about fashion life and luxury if you don't want to miss a video make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you get notified right away when i post and if you didn't get enough of me here on youtube i also have an instagram as well as a blog and on my instagram i post my daily outfits of the day so if you want to know what i wear on a day-to-day -day basis then check out my instagram which i'll link down below all right guys thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye